Welcome back to Survival Everybody episode 40. So I'm just getting the last load of silage delivered here. We'll get a total on our profit. And then, well actually we're going to have to deliver some oats before we leave January. But we also have to think about what we're going to do for these next two fields. Because we want to get the corn in, we want to get the sunflowers in. But, there's a little bit of dilemma because the direct drill one, yes it has a nice working meter of, working width of 12 meters, but the horsepower requirement is 300, we don't have that kind of horsepower for our tractor, so we either have to A, use our plow, which will reset the, the ground state, and we lose our fertilization, or B, we have to get a cultivator. If we do plow, we won't have to worry about weeds. So maybe it's worth it just to take the plow? Something we're going to have to figure out. Let's see, I think we actually split the months, so we're going to have half of the silage delivered December and then January. So it's not going to be a nice total for us. Ah, I take that back. It was all delivered in January here. So 148,455. Great profit. 247,970 total. Ah, yes, here on the previous episode, we also went ahead and black top our driveway. Might be a little overkill for this farm, but it does look nice. This could probably widen out just a little bit right here, I think. It's pretty skinny. We actually have the area to do it too, so we might as well do that. Just a little bit. There we go. That looks a lot better. Alright, so we'll get this dropped off, and then we'll think about... Let's see, we should probably... Get our corn crop in before we advance. The grass is ready, but I think I'm going to do that off a of camera, because we did it so many times already. Let's take a look here. So if we go to planters, we want a decent working width. I mean, this one would probably be alright. It's six meters, though, there. But I guess our cedar is six meters, too, right? Yes, it is. So we could... Uh, let's see, there's no fertilizer in there. I think we want one with fertilizer. I guess there's fertilizer in the front here if we got the two together. But I'm trying to think of the future. We get the, you know, the next portion of land. There's probably going to be bigger fields yet. I think that'll be our last clear cut for this series. Yeah, this guy here is direct drill, but it's 300 horse, which ain't going to work for us, unfortunately. Because I think I'd... Hmm. It is big. Because if you get bigger fields. Now this 9 meter one here. Maybe we should go with this one then since we can't go the direct drill road. It's 180 horse and 9 meters. That's very nice. It does have fertilizer in it as well. But again, we're going to have to plow. Or cultivate. Or discarrow. <laughs> I always like the disc carols better because, well, I guess if you had rocks on, we don't have rocks on. They wouldn't come, uh, bring up rocks. 180, but the, the horsepower requirement on these are... That one actually ain't too bad, but it's only a 6 meter working width. There is this cult of lizard cultivator here. 190 horse, but it's like almost 8 meters here. I think we might go with this. And then we can keep our fertilization stacking. Let's see what kind of color do we want to go. Yeah, I think an orange might be fun. And then this. Like a black. Let's do that. 34,000 for that. And then. I think we'll go with the Curverland planter. We'll be able to do nine meters that's very nice we could probably park this up in our upper shed i think that new one we just set up it's quite 
big depth in that. Purchase that. And let's go see if... I'll drop this weight off so we can bring both back at once. What we have... I think we have no fertilizer, if I remember correctly here. Well, I guess there's a little bit. We could probably just purchase some down there, because we're going to have to fill up again anyway on a lot of our, our cedar, I suppose. And then we can put the hay cutters probably back in the other shed. There was also a suggestion to, uh, from the audience here to move our, our potted garden. We could probably get rid of the greenhouse to put the, like, two potted areas down at the house. And then that would free up some space up here. We could put another shed up here if we need it. Something to think about. And here we are. That's a pretty big cultivator. But it's nice with low power requirements. Whoa! That is a lot of weight. I don't know if this one back here will balance us out or not. I hope it does. If we can even grab it. There we go. And then let's get some... Let's get one bag of seed and fertilizer. See where that gets us. Bag of seed. Yeah, it's not going to take the whole thing there. Oh, so the seed goes in the small hoppers and then the fertilizer goes in the big. Actually, we got more room. Let's buy one more. Should be just enough. There we go. 100%. It holds more fertilizer than seeds. So I just remembered that we gotta get that oats delivered to the cereal factory. Yeah, way over there. Before too long here, because the price is going down. So we need to take advantage of that. I think what I'm gonna do is we'll get the headland done on one of these fields here. We'll set that off on a worker and then we'll go ahead and deliver the oats while they finish up a little bit. Let's see, the planter. Like I said, I'll probably go in this shed here. We'll have to move that hay equipment. We'll just set this to the side for now. So it's not in the way, but we're going to have to get the weight on the front of this tractor. That is crazy. Hopefully this is enough weight to balance it out. Pretty heavy piece of equipment. Wow, look at that thing. At least it's got a nice working with. And then we'll be able to keep our fertilization state which is a positive. Let's see what we got. 50% fertilized. Yeah, looks good. So I've also been doing some, you know, just playing around on my own. I hooked up the... For those that watch uh, my ATS videos, I haven't done one in a while. Uh, know that I do have a steering wheel and shifter and all that good stuff. Head tracking. So I've been doing that with Farm Sim a little bit on a personal playthrough. It's pretty enjoyable. I would almost kind of like to do it for YouTube here. But those, those are going to be kind of different kind of videos because you can't really progress the fastest with that because, you know, you're constantly looking around and then you're obviously using your foot pedal and all that. It's more realistic. That's what I kind of like about it. 
but as far as doing like a playthrough with it, it's like I said, it's gonna be time consuming. You ain't gonna really progress the quickest. So I'm trying to think of how I could give that a shot. I might dip my toe in and maybe do like a uh, kind of like an ASMR. And I, I probably won't be doing any commentary. And maybe it'll just be like the video will be strictly like, okay, we're doing hay today or we're bailing or plowing, something like that. Because, you know, one video is going to be, <laughs> there's going to be no uh, hard cuts in it because it does take that long uh, to do it. And you ain't going to want to really go over like much over an hour. I think if it gets labeled like an ASMR thing, people might just watch it too you know, relax, or... Because I, I was originally thinking about playing music with it, but... I think the viewers, maybe if I just left the... You know, the noise of the tractor and all that... I think the viewers... Could put on, like, a podcast or their own music or whatever they enjoy instead of... Uh, me, you know, making that choice for them. Let's see, this is probably going to be a little difficult. We'll just hire a worker and see which direction they go. We'll have to come back and finish this up. But yeah, it's something I want to try. Like I said, it's more enjoyable, more realistic. And I think the audience would enjoy it. The, well, it's going to be kind of a... You know, a strict audience that's going to like something like that. Kind of just get more content out. Alright. This truck... Or this trailer grill on us is... Can't even get under this anymore. I always use this size. Very close. Soybeans, we want oats. Soybeans will be in July, yeah. Oh, probably towards the end of this episode, we'll go ahead and get the honey and lettuce sold, I think. And like I said, I'll do the grass off camera. Won't be long, that canola will be ready over there too. It's probably getting real close. Yeah. Be a little bit yet. Alright. We'll head on down to the cereal factory. And then we'll come back. I'll probably start that cultivator. We go around the headland on the other field. And then we'll, we can plant the one while the other one's being cultivated. It's probably a safe bet. Alright, looks like the worker stopped on us. So we'll have to finish that up. He must have went the other direction. Took the easy route on us. Alright, oh it's away. Nine thousand nine forty-one. All right, we'll get back to the farm, and then we'll finish cultivating, and then we'll do some planting.
So my original plan was to put this off on a worker while we... Well, put the cultivator off on a worker while we plant, but I just realized we only got uh, one powerful enough tractor to do it. So, well, we got her all done here in one lick ourselves, so that's fine. Save some money, and we're gonna make it on the seed. 3%, yeah, we should be all right. Bam, corn is done. Oops, I guess we gotta unfold this. Yeah, it was a very nice working with. Not too small, not too big. I think it's appropriate for our fields. I think we'll top this up with what that little seed was left in that tote by our greenhouse. Get rid of that. So that can be taken care of. We do have to get the chickens fed as well as the sheep. And then we'll advance so we can get to February. We get our lettuce and our honey delivered. And I think that'll about wrap it up for the episode. I'll probably have to find a spot for all this stuff off camera I think this will most likely go where the uh, grass cutter is I think and then the cultivator I might actually be able to fit in that other shed there we'll have to see alright let's grab the skid steer here and then we're gonna need the bucket for this Very nice organization. I actually will do the chickens last because I have a feeling we're never really going to get all the barley in there correctly. And we can just leave some in the scoop, I think. I think it takes about two scoops. Or a scoop and a half. Looks like water's getting close, but I think we'll be fine for one more day. And then we'll hit those greenhouses, I suppose, too, or top them up. Probably actually go through this grass quite quickly. Seems like it's already going down quite a bit. Wool will be delivered this year. A little extra cash. First wool delivery. Alright. They are good to go. Now we get the chickens taken care of. Well, There's one disadvantage of having the tracks on the skid steers. It does drive just a little bit slower. But the balance is way better. Bam. And we'll just leave the bucket right here, I think. We are going to need the Orcs here on the skid steer so we can get the pallets loaded. Lettuce in February and then honey in March, it says. We could probably go ahead and load that lettuce up right away, I think. Get that taken care of, and then we'll advance, and then... Actually, we we were able to get it all on one load, I think. We just gotta put some in the back of the pickup truck. I kinda wanted to find a place, unless we actually do move our garden down by the house. 
Maybe we should do that, then we can keep the cube trailer down at the house. It almost makes more sense. Otherwise we gotta find a spot for that cube trailer up here. Alright. Should maybe consider upgrading a, to a different pickup truck too? Maybe I could find something else in the mod hub, I'll have to take a look once. Feels like we should be upgrading from the 70s truck style. If we put the garden there, maybe. We just have to drive the skid steer back and forth. Unless we... We could always put that honey down there, too. But we still have to bring the skid steer up here to... To feed our chickens, if we still do it that route. I suppose we could get, like, a small wagon. On, like, an Antonio Carrero or something like that. Oh, shoot. We're gonna have to move that planter. But like I said, I don't know if that's something we really want to do until we decide to if we need another shed or not. So I'm guessing we'll have probably a pallet or two spawn yet when we go to the next month here. So let's go ahead and take a nap and we'll see what we got. 7 a.m. here. We got one pallet. We'll get that loaded up. Looks like the sunflowers are making their way. So yeah, we do have weeds. We'll have to get that tackled. I'm sure our... Let's go check out our... Corn here too. It's always exciting seeing the first crop come up. Yeah, we got a lot of weeds here. Nice and fertilized. Looks like we're going to have a nice yield. We'll probably get the weeds tackled on the next episode. We're still going to have to get our honey sold yet here. Well, actually, we're going to have to do the weeds in this episode, I think. I hate to wait too long on the... Unless we sell the honey this month, we could do that too. We've done it once before. Kind of like to get both of these pallet crops sold in the same episode. Farmer's market it looks like. Usually sometimes we went to Max Watcher quite a bit but it looks like it's gonna be the farmer's market. Like what we might do is we'll finish up with the weeding I think and then we'll wait on the selling of the honey till the next episode. Okay, so I think if I remember right, what we want to do here is we'll make a loop, and then we'll swing it back around the other way on the way to the exit. I haven't delivered the lettuce here for a while. It's definitely a little trickier. Alright, let's get the front here.
And the trailer, not close enough. We're going to have to back in. There we go. All right, well, what's our total? 27,069. Well, let's check the sales today real quick while we're down here. Two ten. I wonder if we should consider that Massey Ferguson. It's not like that much more horsepower, but it'd be nice to have another tractor with high horsepower. Because I don't think we're going to, you know, get any bigger equipment. Although it might be nice to have something really big just to haul the... We could always get the uh, semi-trailer and then get a dolly just to hook the tractor to it. But it'd be nice to get some maybe more horsepower to get up that hill. Although now with the corn, it would be nice to have one cultivating while the other one's planting. Maybe we should consider that Massey Ferguson. Now we can kind of complete our collection. We got a small Massey Ferguson and a big Massey Ferguson. Let's see. The cube trailer can go down to the house or the Unless we find a spot up here. We could put this in the shed up here, I guess. We're going to use the grain trailer. We'll configure that to a flatbed for the honey, just because of the, the issues we had last time. It was not fun, so we might as well just stack it on the regular trailer. Plenty of room in here. And then we'll leave the pickup up here because we're going to... At least I think this hooks to our grain wagon. It should. And we'll go ahead and tackle that, the weeds on both fields here. And, and then I think we'll call it an episode. Probably... We'll consider that Massey Ferguson, I think. Might buy that before we... Actually, I'll slow down time just in case we want to consider that so it doesn't get sold on us. We could go a little bit more here. Three. That way we got, like, another decent high-powered tractor. We do have enough for the corn header. The corn header was only going to cost us, what, 53000 So we got plenty for that.
I will say this side <laughs> doing the corn was a lot easier to see the weeds than in the sunflower area. It was very difficult to see where the weeds are. Hopefully the next Farm Simulator 25, they'll put it in the corner on the map so you can kind of see what you didn't have to do yet. But there it is. Job well done. The weeding is out of the way. We don't have to worry about that. I want to check something here. So if we did buy that Massey Ferguson, it's... Oh, it can be upgraded to 210. What does it come with? The small one? Yeah, of course. 155. So it costs us actually 102,000 if we go all the way. And then I wanted to see what we have that takes a lot of power. So we wouldn't be able to run the uh, direct drill here. But it's only 10 off, so it might be a little forgiving. I think we might get that in the next episode, I think. It's very tempting. It's either that or we wait. And then we buy something new. But I'll take that in consideration. What I'm going to do now, I think off camera, I'll take, tackle that uh, grass field, get that all cut. And get that into the silo, and then uh, we'll pick up there in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.